Back to the bikes. What you know about the baby? Back to the bikes. When it all fall down, what the fuck you gonna do, my nigga? Back to the bikes. UndergroundRadar.com. It's your boy Jazz Wanna Supply. I am in the building. I am humbled and honored, and I'm so excited to finally get an opportunity to sit with a few minutes with this this MC. Yo, when I'm saying master of ceremonies, when I'm talking about a word craftsman, when I'm talking about a spitter, I'm saying like, yo, this dude is a stage monster, yo. I got fucking V dot. Period. I apologize for cursing in the building right here on UndergroundRadar.com, sir, sir, sir. Yo. How you, how you doing, first of all, dog? How you feeling? All is well, so, brother. How you feeling, man? Yo, you I'm good, excited. baby? I'm excited to be in your presence. I'm excited to be in the presence of the greatness, yo. Yo, I'm happy, yo, for a long time. You've been spinning your records. I've been listening to your music, yo. And, yo, I'm just happy that we had at least a couple minutes to rock. You know what I mean? Because I want to know off top, what fucking motivated you to fucking be a musician, dog? Like, how did you become the dope-ass MC? Like, that's what I want to know. Uh, first, I mean, first it started with, like, you know, listening to Jada and, and, and Jay-Z and Nas back then, you feel me? And then, like, I started being around dudes who, like, do instruments, you know, play instruments. So I started making myself an instrument, you know, long story short. So that's really how I make music, you know what I'm saying? I am my own instrument, so... That's the key I go off of, you know what I mean? Yo, that's, so that's, what, that's what really, you know what I mean? That's where I'm at with it, bro. All right. So when was the first time V. Dot Perry stepped in on a studio? Oh, uh, man, I was like, like 13. Mm. Like yo, 13. The, yo, seriously? I mean, I mean, you don't look that old, so you might be 22 or whatever. I'm just saying, that's a, that's early. So, I mean, like, was it like, come on, you was by yourself? Did your mother let you go? Like, It was actually me and my man, TD, man. Shout out to TD, man. Uh, we was all the way live, you know what I'm saying? We was all the way uh, in Atlanta at the time, you know what I'm saying? So long story short, you know, we did that. And, uh, man, we started to sell our CDs for $10. Oh, shit, bro. So, wait a minute. So, was it you solo, like, as an artist? Or was you, like, in a group? No, it's that, it was me and my man, TC. It was like a group we had, you feel me? So, it was V-Dot and TC, you know what I'm saying? So That was the name of the group? No, I was B-More at the time. Everybody in Atlanta called me B-More, you feel me? So, ended up hooking with my man. And, yeah, man, we linked up, man. Shit was crazy. Okay, so do you remember the first rhyme, nigga? Can you just... <laughs> Yo, I had a wild-ass line. I don't even want to say it, you know what I'm saying? Shit was phony, yo. Word. Shit was phony, yo. All right, so, from, from that... You know, the transition into where you are today, like, how many years has it been? I mean, I, mean, I don't need to get exact dates, but I'm saying, like, the transition. I, mean, I, just started to, I took it serious, man. I took it serious, like, two, three years ago, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was incarcerated, you know what I mean, for three years. Long story short, I got out of that situation, you feel me? So I wanted to try something different. So I decided to make myself an instrument. All right, so the, the recording process, when you're in a studio and you're creating music, you know, number one, I want to know what, what are the crucial things you need in your sessions? You know what I'm saying? Is it cookies? Is it crackers? Is it hot dogs and hamburgers? I mean, what do you need? You know, you drinking? You smoking? What's up? Right, shit, man. Just a little bit of yowza, man. A little bit of wine. You feel me? And a nigga cool, you know what I mean? Right. Just yowza. That's all a nigga need. You feel me? Straight yowza. Yes. You're my nigga. You want some yowza? <laughs> Oh man, I'm good. Uh, man. Go, go, go. Nah. Right. Just want, just want to make sure. Sorry, sorry. Y'all, y'all didn't see that at home. Didn't no, see that. Absolutely. Sorry. So, right. Don't drink. Don't drink. Unless you at home or you not driving, yeah, yeah. and you're over 21, you're over 21, and you got some hot chicks in the house with you, you got some hot yowls. or you got some thoughts with you, or they really ugly and it's a one night stand, and you know we don't have to get into that. Life, absolutely. <laughs> you already know, man. All right. My next question is. Your focus, like, what do you? What are the major subject matters or the things that you like to focus on, and, and what motivates you to write those songs? Oh uh, man, I just like to focus on real life experiences. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's too much going on in the world to be talking about some bullshit. You know what I mean? So I just want to touch every topic. You know what I mean? That I'm going through in my life, and maybe it could touch somebody else across the globe. You know what I mean? So I just talk about real life shit. Anything I'm talking about, shit I've been through, and shit that I'm going through right now. You know what I'm saying? You don't never know where nobody is in life, man. You know what I mean? And that's just how real shit is out here. So hopefully I can touch somebody in the world. Right. So what's your process of picking tracks and choosing production? And then, like, we get, can you give us an idea of the type of production that you, you prefer rapping over? Because I know there's a bunch of new producers that are probably going to want to send you music. And, like, I mean, I'm just a... Yo, it's just a one-time thing with me. As soon as I hit... I know if it's that, that's that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to tell me that's that. Because as soon as I hear it, I got something for it. If I hear it at first and it ain't really hit me, you know what I mean? I ain't really with it. I'm keeping it moving. Gotcha. That's how I play. Top five favorite MCs of all time. National. Let's go. Jay-Z, Jada Kiss, Nas, uh, Big L, Big Pun. Damn, I ain't get, t I ain't get Tupac and Biggie in there either, for real. 
That's crazy. Jay Z, yeah, Pun, Nas, Pun. 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 And then you ain't put Pac and. No, I'm saying, Pun. I'm trying to tell you, like, they would have been, no, 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 they would have been, it would have been Tupac, Biggie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Nas, Jay Z. Gotcha. All right. I gotta get into a crucial moment. Okay. If you, who's better, Biggie or Tupac, and why? I think Tupac Shakur. Why? Because I felt like, you know what I'm saying. I just gotta touch my topic, man. You know what I mean? I feel like Tupac Shakur, and I'm a, and everybody always gonna battle me about this situation. You feel me? But that's just, you know, that was just. I felt like he touched me more. That's just how I feel. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. All right. Can, can we get you on VVCRadio.com? I want to get a full interview. I want to get a full two hours so we don't have to rush and get on that. All right. So what are we out here to promote right now? What do, we, what do the people need to go cop? You know what I'm saying? Tell us about the mixtapes, the T-shirts, the website. Can you can you link us up oh, right man. now? It's Crew Records right now, man. DTL, Dying to Live, man. Make sure y'all get that when they come out. It's coming out next month, man. Uh, long story short, we on tour right now. God Money War Tour. Shout out to my guy, Los, man. Make sure you go get that God Money War. My guy, Blue, on the tour with me also, man. Black since that's a brother from another mother, man. Long story short, man, we out here as crew, man. Rebel Music, DBMG, man, and that's how we living, man. You're cool. Sure. We got to go see this concert. I'm here with Los and VDOT and Damon Blue. Y'all should be here too. Check y'all next time. UndergroundRadar.com. It's VDOT. Holla! Girl.